Hey everyone, Scott J. Lee from Crucible Custom Props with Nerfworks Lab and all the forms here. So today, uh, I have an outdoor video, mainly because uh, I have, during the quarantine, I have my wife doing her conference calls, and my son is doing his homeschool, so this is the only quiet place I have. Now today I have for you an original Sterling E11 Blaster from A New Hope. Um, this is the one with, uh, like, the hero, well, not the hero ones, but I mean, the heroes of the movie you see them a lot with but you see them with the other ones as well but this is the one with the short scope with the M19 or M32 and uh, no power cylinders no counter um, most of those things had fallen off by certain parts of the production so uh, but this one was sent to me as an E11 but it had uh, and I don't know exactly where the person got it from but it had T-Track on it they were really they were okay but they weren't great and the, the rail, the scope rail, wasn't really the correct size or shape or anything. And it looked pretty, pretty bad. Uh, it was pretty busted up. But uh, so this sterling in particular has been demilled and welded up considerably. Um, the barrel has a solid steel rod welded into it. I mean, you can see down in the bottom of it, it has holes all cut in it that have been re-welded. Um, the, even the... the the screws that hold the barrel into the, the muzzle have been welded in in, in place. <clears throat> the bolt has been cut in half and welded in place. In fact, you can see there that this charging handle moves independent of the bolt. And when you look in the back of it, it's just they literally just cut the bolt in half and just welded that sucker up in place. The trigger group does nothing. In fact, it's welded in place. It doesn't, doesn't move. Um, so wherever this came from uh, was heftily, heftily demilled. And now I did do a new crinkle finish on it. Um, now let's talk about crinkle paint. I've talked about this before in the past. Uh, let's address it again. Now obviously we don't have access to the original material that they used to wrinkle paint these. Um, so we use the next best thing, which is a, an engine, engine paint that has the black, black crinkle finish. And it looks pretty much the same as the original stuff. Um, but uh, let's talk about that so there's a whole internet camp of people who believe that the sterlings used in Star Wars did not have crinkle paint and that they have photo evidence of them being smooth and just satin or flat black painted now I have photos I, I've shared them on the internet and of the actual actors with these props close up enough that you can see the wrinkle finish still on them during production time. Now the thing is that, um, as you can see right about here and other spots on this, when wrinkle finish wears, it wears completely smooth. And some of the most worn examples of real sterlings that had the wrinkle finish on them will have lots of smooth spots and maybe very, very few spots on it where the wrinkle is still visible. That's just how this stuff wears. And there's photo evidence of the original props having this wrinkle finish. Now, uh, that said, this one needed a complete refinish. So it's, I completely stripped all the flat paint that was on it completely off. It took, that was sucked. That took a lot of acetone to do. But I got it done and painted it back up and then weathered it back down. Now, some of this weathering is real subtle. I tried to make it as realistic as I could while paying respect to uh, the work that had to be done. So there's a lot of smooth worn spots and there's still some metal showing as these would be used and stuff like that. So um, a lot of that doesn't really show up very well uh, at a distance, but up close it does. So that's pretty much it. And the other thing is I made these, I make these scope rails from scratch for most of the projects. Um, now this steel, this is two millimeter steel uh, gauge and it's very hard to find in the US. So Marcus, um, OD172 from the RPF was kind enough to find some stock for me and he sent that over and I've been making these, um, I'm actually almost out, but uh, I've been making these rails, bending them, putting the bends in them, milling everything, uh, making them fit and everything from scratch. So uh, that and we got some one on T-Track here some geese flying by <laughs> anyway and we have a real m32 scope now 
The M19s and M32s are identical on the outside. The only difference really is the reticle inside. So this fits the bill perfectly. And the ones that the heroes use, they range from different ones. They have some with M38, M40s, and but a lot of them, a lot of the still pictures we see have the shorter scope. And uh, the shorter scope is mounted a little bit farther back than M38 and M40s. But like some of the scenes where they have a live fire uh, down the, the tension corridor and stuff, you see Harrison Ford using one just like this. And the only difference really is some of them have a little chip glued onto the top of the, the scope and some of them don't. So this is one of the ones that is non-chipped, but that could always be added later. It's no big deal. Um, so here it is, guys. Pretty simple, straightforward, um, but very cool nonetheless because I don't think I've done one with the short scope before. So there it is. Thanks.